almost live from Chilliwack, it's Chilliwack Tonight! Join Daris and Jeff with their guests, Chris Fassbender, Nancy Guitar, Rachel Caroline Plaza, and Jeff Bonner and Daisy Taylor of Tamahai. And now, Chilliwack Tonight! Wasting away, watching clouds float by my window. Chilliwack Chilliwack tonight. tonight! Welcome to Chilliwack Tonight. It's another edition of the show. We're in just, this is our fifth episode, Paris. Five. I love it. I, I, I just want to say thank you so much to our Chilliwack audience. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's got to be something to do with how dapper you look. You show up to the show, you just really pour it on with the, with the look, Paris. That's a, you, you know what? Quite um, a tie you've got tonight. I agree. So I'll just leave it at that. I think there's a little spot on it, though. Just check that out. Oh, you're clever. You're clever. You are a clever <laughs> torger. What is that torger? What's on your shirt? Tractor grease. Oh, God. Is it cold in here? <laughs> Close that shirt. We're really, really happy with the fact that Tamahai is choosing our show to debut the first single from their new album. So Jeff uh, Bonner and Tazy Taylor a little later in the show tonight. Yeah, no, we're, we're yeah. looking forward to them. They're friends of the show. Yeah. And uh, what else we got uh, tonight? Well, mail. We've got viewer mail. We've got, we're getting some interaction on our Facebook page. Uh, soon people are come. liking us. Yeah, people are like getting in there and giving us some suggestions. But you know what? Okay, hang on, hang on a sec. Chill you know out what? tonight live on Facebook is where but, we're talking. Okay, but you, okay, hang on, hang on. The, 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 these people that are liking us, I like that. I think that's great. Yeah. But then there's a whole other group that are following us, but they're not liking us. <laughs> so what I'm wondering is, why the heck are they following us? Huh? Just, Why do people do that? They follow being, you, but they don't like you. Who's following you, and they don't like you? Don't make no sense. It. They're just being non-committal. That's all. I think that's. I don't what like it is. that. I think that's very non-committal. Yeah, but people do send us notes, and, and we appreciate that. And likes and shares, we love. Yeah, we do too. like that. And let's get to some of these letters. Well, I mean, it's almost like somebody wanted us to read them on the show tonight, or something. Well, Paris. I think uh, yeah, maybe maybe John Wayne wrote these out from the the actual. I've Facebook got one that post. says number one. Are you ready for number one? The first letter of Hit the Hit it, night. baby. Barris, we really like the show. What is your favorite type of pasta? Barris. Tiramisu. That's not pasta, Barris. Tiramisu? Uh, no, that's a dessert, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, spaghetti. Okay. What, what, what does that possibly got to do with the show? It's totally irrelevant. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Uh, Barris and Jeff, now that pot is legal, do you smoke it? Because it seems like you do. <laughs> the, okay. they, these guys, you know what? They, they, they're not taking this as seriously as we are, and I don't like that. Ferris, is... are you two guys in the before times? Are, are those two guys you? They're, they're not both me, no. It's an alter ego, I kind of think of it as. Well, they're not both me. You're one of them too, right? Yeah. And then they want to know what are their names. Do we have names for those characters? One's got to be Dieter. One's got to be deep. They have British accent, but one of them... And why do they snap their they fingers? They seem German somehow. I don't know. Why do they snap their fingers, Paris? Keep the time. Because it's hip, man. It's totally hip. Keeps the time. Okay, here we go. This one, this one's a good one. You're going to like this one. Is Jeff single? <laughs> and if he is, what's his Tinder handle? <laughs> do you have a Tinder good. handle, Jeff? No, no Tinder handle. No. Because you're happily married. Oh. Yes. Right? I've never met your wife, uh, but I understand she's a fan of the show. She is. Big fan. Hi, Joe. Yeah. yeah uh, I've uh, taken the opportunity of uh, signing a picture of myself, a little autograph for her. I put it in your uh, briefcase. Oh, I'll be so, sure and see that she gets it. Yeah, yeah. She'll enjoy that. Yeah. So what else we got next? Well, we've got we to tell people about what's on the show tonight. Um, we've got, we've got Covideo Corner, uh, our new feature we introduced last week. Nancy Cigar is back. Tales from the Quarantine is back. Yes. People are loving Nancy. Yeah. And we're actually, the technology is just amazing. We're going to be uh, checking in with an astronaut in space tonight. All coming up on Chilliwack, Chilliwack tonight. tonight. Tales from the Quarantine with Nancy Cigar. Like, who needs four ply toilet paper to wipe their butt? Huh? So I decided to be clever and take it apart. So, 
you split the toilet paper up. Look at this, see? And then you re-roll it, right? So you got two rolls of two-ply. Oh, shoot, I got a big mess here. Tales from the Quarantine with Nancy Sigah. Whackwood. 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 Don't you love it? I do. Flows, I like right? the name. It flows. It's got a bit of a ring to it. Okay, so you know what? Pandemic times. Uh, I'm sitting at home all alone. I just feel like I've re- got to educate myself. So I'm learning all these new words. Okay. Every day I learn new words. Uh-huh. Do you want to Do you want to learn some new words? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Well, I've written some down here for you. And what I'm going to do is read the word out. Yep. And you see if you can guess what it means. Okay. Okay. And if you can't guess it, then I'll use it in a sentence, okay, right. to help you out. Okay. Okay. Snollygoster. 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 Uh, is that some kind of uh, animal, maybe? Or no? You're getting warm. Okay. Use it in a sentence. Look at that snollygoster. Is that a good hint? Sounds like a noun. So you are describing a person, place, or thing. But, uh, yeah, no. I, give, me the, give me the meaning. What is it? Okay, okay. Um, it may be related to a German word, Snallygaster, uh, which is a re- reptilian beast that hunts kids and farm animals. Oh, pleasant. Snallygaster. The Germans, what do you want? Okay. Uh, okay, uh, how about snow broth? Snow broth. Don't step in the snow broth. Don't step in the snow broth. Is it, it's it's got to be something to do with melting snow or something. Oh, you guessed it. Really? I was going to use it in a sentence too, but you guessed it. You totally, yeah. Wow, look so at the I snow broth. So I used it in a sentence. Don't step in the snow broth. Wow. I was going to say, wow, look at the snow broth. <laughs> okay, you got another one. Right? Yeah, I do have another one. Um, vulpecular. 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 That's got to be something with a man's pecs or something like that. Or... Not at all. No? Not at all. You want me to use it in a sentence? Yes, please. Do, do. Wow. You look so vulpecular today, Jeff. Okay. What is yes? it? Yes? No? I, I, you can't I don't guess? Know. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving fox-like. you the hint. Fox-like. You're looking fox-like. Fox-like? Yes. Volpecular. Yeah. So, actually, it doesn't mean you look attractive. You actually look like a, you have a furry face. Like I got fox. one for you, Barris. Denouement. Denouement. Huh? Don't know. What does that mean? We're finished. Oh. Whackword! Whackword. Totally attack word. Mentally not a slack word. Got one speed today. One speed and it ain't so fast. One foot on the brake. Case? Hello? Yeah, hello. How are you doing? Uh, good. Good. Uh, hello. I, uh, who you is s- this? You, s- you seem confused. Uh, uh, this was prearranged. We were to, to call you, Case. Pre- prearranged? I, I'd heard nothing of this. I haven't spoken to another human soul in 48 days. Uh, who oh. prearranged this? Well, one of our staff passed the number on to me, and here we go. So we, we're checking in with you. So how is it going up there in space today? Well, it's, it's going pretty swell. I'm, I'm just doing a little painting and uh, a little tidying up, but uh, it sure is nice to hear from someone, someone at all. <laughs> so tell me about what is a, an amateur's... An amateur astronaut. Oh, well, an amateur astronaut is pretty simple. Uh, when I was uh, tasked with this job, they asked around uh, who would want to go out in, into space, and no one really wanted to. And then I suggested that maybe uh, the, the person who watched the most sci-fi movies go, and that happened to be me. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so y- your experience is watching science fiction, and now you're in space. Oh, that's this, right, yeah. What, but, kind, uh, of an out- what kind of an outfit are you working for? Who, who do you work for? Well, I work for uh, Network Television Station X. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. And uh, what I've been tasked to do is uh, find a new location out here in space on the dark side of the moon for a new reality TV show. Wow, that sounds out of this world. What? Tell me about your spaceship. You call it what? Well, it's the spaceship Humble Rides. And in fact, it took me way off course. So it's a bit of a clunker. But, you know, I'm having a good time. It's a large ship. There's a pool here. There's a movie theater. There's a full kitchen. It's a wonderful place to be. And, and you're well supplied. You've got stocks to keep you in space for a while, I understand. You know, it was meant to be a two-day trip. I've been going through all of the catacombs here of the ship. 
It is massive. There is enough food to last me at least three seasons of a reality TV show. And the name of the reality TV show is? Oh, uh, Space Quarantine. Yes, it's a, it's a brouhaha pitting humans against humans to the death. All right, well, we'll be sure to watch for that on Station X, as you say. Case yes. Ledger, thank you so much for checking in with us and, 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 and spending a little time with us on Chilliwack tonight. Hey, thanks for making me feel human again. Bleak. Before you say anything, Bleak. Is this Bleak. dude still doing the intro? The drift in space, the humble rise has outshot its destination by thousands of space kilometers. Okay, uh, well, uh, look at the time. It's the announcer. Space kilometers or just kilometers? I just thought that space kilometers sounded more exciting. And Darren Blakeborough, the assistant professor for media studies from UFV, is on the line to talk about next week's appearance on Chilliwack Tonight. Darren, we're all consuming tons and tons of media these days. What's going on with, with the choices that we're making? Why are we choosing some of this, you know, kind of junky television at times? Yeah, well, there's the important stuff that we need to be consuming, the information about the pandemic and everything that's going around yeah. that and our economy and when we're getting back to work and making sure we're safe and healthy. And that matters. But we need a break from that. And we're going to our numerous sources to get this break. And there is some less than redeeming television out there. Um, but we're flocking to it. And, and I am one of those people as well that will and was drawn into Tiger King on Netflix or too hot to handle and programming like that. So yeah, there, there is this world of, of television that we kind of go to called, you know, and we might not even want other people to know we're watching it, kind of making it our own guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasures next week from Chilliwack Tonight. <laughs> It's Rachel Caroline Plaza back with you for another segment of CoVideo Corner. So this week, like last week, I'd like to share just a few more funny videos with you. I've recently been enjoying this actor from LA. His name is Leslie Jordan, and you might know him from shows like Will and Grace. Anyway, he's been doing hilarious content on his Instagram while he's been in quarantine in his home in Tennessee. And... He is like an overnight sensation, and I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying him. He's the sweetest thing with his southern charm. Take a look. One time, Mama and them, that's what we say in the South to include everybody. Mama and them. My mother and my twin sisters were driving to Florida, and they passed a town. Mother said, oh, isn't that sweet? Kiss of me. Sweet name for a town. Um, my sister said, it's an Indian name, Mother. It's Kissimmee. Mother said, no, I think it's Kissimmee. They stopped for lunch, and Mama asked the girl, said, where are we? How do we pronounce it? And that girl said, Burger King. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't even know what we would do in this pandemic if it wasn't for the clear, level-headed, rational, forward-thinking advice from the one, the only, Trump. When we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. Right, and then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets in the lungs, and it does a tremendous number in the lungs. So it would be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. And in this next clip, I just want to leave you with, uh, you know, just a heartwarming situation where two people come together and it's friends helping friends. It is humanity at its finest in such a noble 
and altruistic way. It, it is just a beautiful thing to witness. Take a look. Like all those uber wealthy smart celebrities say on their yachts, we are all in this together. Quarantine and chill. See you next time. Bye. In the before times, I never got a haircut. Wait a second. Well, so I got an air gun. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought I would come in and uh, steal your show there, Barris. In the before yeah. times, we used to allow people to steal our show. Now, <laughs> we don't. But what we are not doing is in the before times right now. Thank you for that a little homage. We appreciate that. Jeff Bonner and Taisy Taylor of Tamahai, welcome to the show. Friends of the show, been on a couple times now. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming on. Right Thanks on. for having us. Yeah, this is sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is great. Uh, your 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 Friday show is just doing gangbusters. Uh, it just gets more and more happening every week. It's wonderful. Lots of artists. You even had a comedian on, right? We did. Yeah. We so it's did. yeah, it's been lots of fun doing it, and uh, you know, it's a funny thing where technology and performing has to all come together in an evening, and uh, yeah, it's been great for us to put it on. So and well, that's to super. expand it and grow it. Well, you've got a brand new single that you're going to be premiering tonight, uh, along with a video that you guys have done. And we're so excited that uh, you've uh, blessed our program with uh, the world premiere. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it's kind so of the song a, a song made in, in this isolation time. So, Yeah, and it's all about getting into the groove in life, the sweet spot. So everybody needs a little bit of that uh, right now. So... That's what this song's basically yeah. all about. So. Oh, I get it. on the dash cam lying on my back like the gingerbread man sun warming my face through the window of the minivan hiding from the man like oscar in a trash can well, one speed and it ain't so fast two feet on the brake and none on the gas sneaking around like a snake in the grass feeling like the first time i ever cut class crocodile tears thick skin like a gator clock strikes noon i'll be up and i'll be at her Better hope the dog fix the flux capacitor. Time's like a bull, and I'm the matador. Cause I got one speed today. I 
Cause I got one speed I got one speed today One speed and it ain't so fast Two feet on the brake I can't find the gas Well time flies, it flies on the glass I'm Grasping at life, forecasting the past Well I gotta step into the two feet theory Better not blink, it's a slow motion fury Getting around like a sloth in a hurry Well I got one speed and that's my story Cause I got one speed It's a good deed I got one speed today One speed and it ain't so fast so cool down and chill, kick back and relax Spinning up some vinyl, grooving to the stacks Thinking of the good shit, create and attract One speed and it ain't so fast Well don't rush me, I'm too laid back I got one speed That's the fact, Jack Yeah, what a great show. What a great show uh, tonight was. It was a and, fun time. But you know what? That's, that's, that's past. Let's talk about next week. Yeah, next week we have the Assistant Professor of Media Studies from the University of the Fraser Valley. He's going to come on and talk about guilty pleasures. Ooh, I like that. We're all, what, watching, like we're that. all consuming a lot of media these days. I Are love you it. making the right choices? Well, don't ask that question because I'm not sure I'm ever making quite the right choices. None of us make all the right no. choices. Sometimes no, no, no. we just sit down and consume a Twinkie. And we have this uh, amazing band. It's a local band. They're very young. They're yeah. a great group of guys. And they released a, a new album online for free to their fans. And they are called We Are Like Bears. Nice. Yeah. Very good. And that's so, all coming up next week right here on Chilliwack, Chilliwack Tonight. Tonight. Thank you for watching Chilliwack Tonight! Tune in next week, Thursday, 7.01 p.m. with our guests, UFE professor Darren Blakeborough and musical guests, We Are Like Bears! And now, I've got a date with Netflix!